In this video, find out how to set up your Quest 2. First of all, you need to make sure you've plugged your Quest 2 in and started charging it. Once it's fully charged, you'll have that green light right there. While you're waiting for that green light, make sure you've downloaded the Oculus app on either Android or on iOS, depending on your device. And on that device, you need to make sure your Wi-Fi is switched on and the same Wi-Fi you're going to be using for your Quest 2. Also, stick your Bluetooth connection on as well. Also, for now, you're still going to need a Facebook account to sign in to Oculus, which is apparently changing soon, but it's still the case at this current point in time. If you have a Facebook account or not, you might want to create a new one, a private one, so it's not linked with all your friends and not so much friends that you have on Facebook. I've put a link in one of these corners that will show you how to set one up that's fully private. When you first open up the Oculus app, you'll be presented with continue using Facebook. You just need to click that. Then you'll be presented with this where it's asking you which Facebook account you want to use or log in to another account or find your account or create a new Facebook account. If you just click on the account that shows up, you'll then be asked to type in your password that links with that account and then just press login. Then you'll get a pop-up saying Oculus would like to access your Facebook account, which kind of, which is kind of obvious, but you just have to click continue as your account. You'll then be presented with welcome to Oculus, and you can either tick the box that says you're interested in receiving emails, or you don't have to tick the box. I never tick the box to anything because I get too many emails as it is. And then click continue as new Oculus user. Then it'll just start to create your account, once that's done, you'll be presented with, now it's time to set up your profile. Just click continue, then you need to create your username and you can change your avatar as well. This is what's visible to other Quest users, so make it something you want people to see. It'll then explain Messenger and Oculus are like linked now, so you, you're, like, you can do all your Facebook stuff. Just click continue, <laughs> then you have the option of what you want people to see. So, who will see the activity on your Quest 2? And you can click friends on Oculus, or only me, which is what I went with. Then you can also select who you want to see your Facebook name on Oculus, and I would really click only me. Then it'll ask you to choose your interests, and depending on what you want, whether you want a clean slate when you first start up, you can either skip this, or you can select some of the games that you want, so shooting games, then you need to create your pin, which is for when you make purchases on the app. Once you've created a pin, you need to really be switching on your Quest 2 by now, because you're going to need that on in a minute. Then you need to set up your payment details, which is either a credit or debit card, or your PayPal account. Honestly, I would always go with PayPal, but that's a personal preference. Or you can skip this for now, but if you want to buy any games, you will need to set this up at some point. It's not a subscription or anything like that, it's just buying games. Then you need to select your headset, which will be Quest 2. <laughs> then you'll get this messenger on Oculus pop up again, which is just ridiculous. And it'll start to look for your headset. It should automatically find and pair your headset, but we don't live in a perfect world. And it might not have found it if you've not switched your Bluetooth on. If it doesn't find it, not to worry, because you'll be presented with enter your five digit code, which if you put your Quest 2 headset on, you'll notice just above the blue button is a five digit code, and you type that code in. Once it's paired and shows up on your phone that it's paired, you need to then put your headset on, and you'll be presented with much clearer images than this to select your language. And then it'll tell you to be seated while doing this setup, which is a bit daft. You might already be stood up. And then it'll ask you to connect your Wi-Fi password. So what you need to do is connect it to the same Wi-Fi that's connected to your phone. Most routers will have more than one network attached to it. So you'll have like, for example, Netgear 79 or Netgear 79 5G. I would advise going with a 5G. If you've already got 6G, you're probably not watching this video. And that's it. It should all be connected and ready to go. You'll then be presented with some settings and privacy and making sure that you're safe and everything while you do it. Then you'll be asked to create your boundary, which I've set up another video on in one of these somewhere. But it's that simple. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you in the next one. Goodbye.